way, we're checking out the only game where you can suck so hard that you will destroy all life on Earth. <laughs> it's City Smash. I don't know what the hell this new item is. It's like, I'm just gonna call it the Suck Blaster because it looks like that's what it is. Obviously, the game that is effectively Solar Smash under a microscope got an update. It added even more ways to torture the populace, and now you can manipulate them all. Also, just because we can make Elon Musk proud, and by proud, I mean slay the heathens with whatever this is. So as typical, uh, I have to see what this game normally set the stuff that you're allowed to use at, and then we're gonna have to crank it up as high as we can, and then mix them all together, use an auto clicker, and probably either break reality, crash the game, or have my computer kill me. See this? For Ten. Rookie numbers. One hundred. That's more like it. What? What is the force? There's like this is all force. This is suction force and an explosion force and then just an average force. The hell does it even mean? It looks pretty bad no matter what the hell you pick. Oh, there's very little gravity here. Well, isn't that nice? All right, let's let me let me try and suck harder because I have a feeling if I can suck all the way, then I'll get everything from one side of the town to the other in one shot. Yeah, you see that? There was a couple of buildings that were trying to get out of there. We're all dying together. Can you still obliterate the stuff like when it's underwater? Yep, sure can. Also, you can obviously mix and match these, so just gonna go ahead and bring things all the way up. We might as well. So this should explode hard enough to the point where it's all not just inside of the water. Fantastic, there you go. I'd like to get all the country a small taste of the suck blaster. Actually, this brings up a good point. Before, the hurricane force winds in this game were shit. 12. How high does this number go? A lot more than 12. Oh my God. <laughs> oh Jesus. 400 and it was at 12? Hold on. You know, if you're gonna use a category 1 million, let's at least start it at 150. Okay, so 150. The entire city basically gets backhanded by Mother Nature. God, it's like the big bad wolf, but on a lot of meth. All right, wouldn't want to kill everyone too immediately. Do 300 this time. Okay, now, okay, see, this is what I appreciate. Now we're in the realm of category 1000. I want light speed wins. Now I'm kind of curious, hold on. Can you, can you use the suck blaster and maximum wind at the same time? So if you use the wind, now will it just drag it all back? <laughs> oh my God, no. Look at the wind trying to blow it away, but the sucker keeps on pulling it back. Come back here, you bastards. You're not getting away. <laughs> kind of curious where all the water's coming from. It's like a disappointed Poseidon. Oh, hey, the firework. The firework was always pretty average. You know, one, two, maybe three buildings at a time. I like it, this is this is literally Florida right here. There is a building laying in the middle of the road and everyone's like, I can get around it. Ah! Screw traffic! People off-roading in their Honda Civic. Okay, so it starts at 104. How high does it go? Okay, well it goes way past 200. Might as well start at 200. And the blast radius was four and it goes to 100. Sure, do 40. Now I'm going to shoot the firework in the exact same spot. Needless to say, uh, Independence Day is independently removing souls from bodies. Oh, and this goes up quick too. Yeah. All right, might as well go straight up to the 400 and the 100 blast radius. Obviously, if the 240 pro you know leveled the city, I imagine this would do the same. Oh, you get some secondary explosions. Well, let me suck everything in and then blow it up. Can it even break it apart? No. The suck is way more powerful than the explosions. Oh, sweet. You can change the amount of bombs. So originally it was eight. This is the cluster bombs. Honestly, the cluster bombs did a pretty sucky job at destroying the rockets. Mostly it's just very slow gravity destroying rockets now. There we go. Go with nice cool 100. Let me just see what happens when you spam click this. Everything good. That's what happens. Oh, I remember the portal too. How does the portal work? Hold on. 
Now that we can suck things through. Oh my God, the game is just breaking. It's like the portal gun. If the portal gun had no chill and a lot of cocaine, the game is legitimately broken. It's at one FPS at this point. I can't do anything with it. God, can I reset this? Make it stop. One of my favorites was always the comet because you could decide like exactly how much force was behind it and what direction it came from. So now the fact that you can make this a lot worse. Ah, uh, yeah, crank all that up. It's not like it didn't destroy the city before. Oh, when it hits, it blows stuff back now. How about if I give it like the, the lightest yeet I can give it? All right, crank it all the way up, but throw it real slow. I love how there was like one yellow car, some hatchback, some dude's Honda Fit twirling through the air. It's like, I'm the ballerina of good gas mileage. Now I'm curious if the sucker will grab the comet. I have no idea what the hell just happened. It sucked too quickly. Oh, let me tune this down. No, it powers through the suck. Can you suck Cthulhu? It sounds bad, but listen, I have to test this, okay? No. Can you suck the space worm? I haven't even messed with the worm yet. The worm's like, I'm here, bitch. There's nothing good to eat though. It's all high in cholesterol. That's right, don't use your brakes or anything. All right, space worm, sucky portal. Oh, the worm actually counts as an object. You can like hug it with all this stuff. Can an A10 save the city? No, in fact, the only thing I think it did was did it did more damage to the damn building than the worm did. All right, so you can't suck the worm, but what happens if you blow it? Maximum blow. You know, if anything, it helped for just a second. It held that one building up for just long enough for everyone to experience true terror before they got atomized. Oh, finally, you can make the tsunami better too. This was the tsunami before. Not really so much of a tsunami as it is just a example of how terrible the engineering is on these buildings. So that was on 40 and this goes up to 400. Hold on, I might as well get the wind in there too. All right, typical Saturday at Florida, take one. Uh-huh, yeah, looking good. I go ahead and throw the wind in there too. Beautiful. Look at this, who needs recycling when you've got a really, really pissed off mother nature? I told you there's still always that one guy. These people are like, I paid $5 for this Greyhound. We're not stopping till we get to Starbucks. So here's the volcano. What do you, oh, it gives you more fireballs. The answer is always more balls. So before, I guess it started with five fireballs. And this is basically what it was. And they would land and someone would be sad. It was like winning the lottery. Okay, so how many balls can you pack a hundred fireballs? What is it gonna be? It's just gonna be like the mini gun of volcanoes. Either I'm gonna be sitting here for like 20 minutes or it has to shoot all the fireballs at once. I got, <laughs> it's like a machine gun. Oh my God, hold on. It gets done pretty fast too. Yeah, throw that in there. Another one of these. We would like to congratulate the very first moon colony. Oh, I got it right between these two things too. Yikes! Mm-hmm. Whoever's in this building is legit gonna survive. It has not been destroyed. Everything else is going down except for this one building. Oh, the tornado doesn't have an editor, but the earthquake does. So the starting earthquake was 5,100. And I mean, it destroyed everything. I like how the one thing that survived was the strip club. <laughs> this poor earthquake, it's like, we can't repel debauchery of that magnitude. All right, let me go ahead and pump you up. Oh, I started at 50, we're already at 300. We're at 400 and then end fours, okay? So it ended at 150, so it can start and end at 400. Very good. Okay, so this is the, <laughs> it's not an earthquake. It's just planet Earth cracking in half like an egg. Earth pretending to be an overripe melon, go. All right, so you can pew pew people with the flying saucer, but the pew pew is kind of limp. So we'll go ahead and pump that up. 400, 100, let's see how much bigger the damage radius is. I'm curious too, like if you could, oh, 
What kind of cheap ass material is this flying saucer made out of that it can get struck out of the sky with some lightning? Hold on, can it get blown and stuff? No, it's like only the lightning. Can it get molested by Cthulhu? Survey says yes. So the Satan beam does have an editor. Now before, the beam worked pretty damn good. So that was at a six and a two. So if it starts at six, okay. 200, 300, 400, 500, it's up to 800, it goes to 1,000. A lot, I don't wanna actually, I don't wanna increase the rate. Actually, can I bring the radius down? How low can I bring this, one? <laughs> don't mind me just taking out the trash. So this will go up to 50. There's nothing left. There's not even a single tile. There's one guy in his car, get out of here. What the hell? It didn't blow up the cars. It just like kicked it like a soccer ball. Look. <laughs> Watch out. The lightning can take a damn new ball out of the sky, but it can't strike the cars. So the nuke was always pretty bad at a 75, what the hell, a 22. It's like the most random radius. The developer's like, I do what I want. 75 and a 22 levels the entire porn city. So this goes right past 200 into, this is gonna go to a thousand as well. Yep. So I imagine this will just like disintegrate whatever it touches. Okay, so what happens if I bring the radius all the way down, but keep it that strong? This radius of one. This is like the thinnest nuke you can get. It's like a diet nuke. Huh, it doesn't actually do any damage at all. It just looks cool, everyone's getting irradiated. That's right, you're gonna be urinating lime green jello, you're welcome. Can I get like any damage, like even in a city? It's like one guy taking out the garbage down here on the bottom floor, he was the only one that got injured. I think like two panes of glass broke. What the hell? It, it disintegrated the bottom of the building, but somehow it's still standing, standing like the finger of Satan. Oh, I didn't mean to actually do that again. It's still standing. Okay, how about a radius of five? How about that? Let's try this. Okay, from one to five, that's a big difference. All right, radius of 100. You know, I almost feel like the beam was stronger. So what if it's the biggest radius, but the weakest nuke? It's like the one nuke that disappointed its parents. There we go, all right. Biggest radius, weakest nuke. All the buildings are standing, they all just got microwaved. Enjoy your apocalypse. Oh, finally buildings are starting to fall, there we go. Hold on, they just, they just need a push. Let me try the smallest meteorite. The weakest and the smallest. One explosion force, one radius. There. Yeah. I feel like that was a lie. That didn't feel like a one. One of the very first ways that you were able to ruin people's lives was with the black hole. Making the black hole, oh, I can do a double black hole. Making the black hole worse is gonna be so good. So it starts us off at a 10 and a 40. This can go to 100, and this can go to 500. All right, make me proud. Oh, oh my God, it makes me proud. The beam is still at like magna. There's like one vehicle flying through the air from the twister. The beam is still at maximum. So when I pulled everything and went the black hole, the beam just vaporized everything. It all just evaporated. Now, one of the things that was good was getting to put down the bomb timers and then press the button and it does some damage. But obviously we can move this all the way up to 400 and this to 100. Your bloodline was weak timers. I had to, what the hell? Like how the one timer bomb was trying to crack open this building like a cold beer. It's like, I want to blow up from the inside. All right, so this should be substantially stronger. You don't need more than one if you crank it up all the way. Now everything's just getting blown back and forth. The bombs aren't even on the screen anymore. Okay, I've got to crank all this up. I got to see if I can get it all to go simultaneously. All right, all the way. Okay. If I can even go. The damn beam just ruins everything. I'm not clicking on you anymore, beam. 
You're actually too powerful. There we go. Uh huh. Yeah, throw the bombs in there. What are these? Couple of that. Cthulhu. Dollar store. Godzilla. All the bombs. The fireworks. The wind. The warthog. Whatever the hell this is. The worm. Get everything in there. This guy's over here. He's like, oh, I took two children's vitamins today. So what I did is I've got the, the cluster bombs and I've got them so that they're going inside of the portal here. So I basically turned it into a mini gun that shoots cluster bombs. Okay, let me see. Can you, does this like take out the plane? I need it, I need it further down than that. Now, nah, further down. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so it doesn't touch the plane. How about the worm? Nope. All right, dollar store Godzilla, Cthulhu. Why do I feel like the one thing that's going to end up getting injured by this horrible portal vomit of bombs is going to be the UFO? What happens if I throw this at it? What the hell? Oh, because it goes in the one and it comes out the other part. How about the tsunami? Eh, just caught the tip. Oh! The earthquake can destroy the bombs. Well, now I have to redo this again. All right. Oh my God! It absolutely can hit the UF when it glitches on the whole game. That means I need more. I think I've ruined enough lives for one day. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of City Smash until the... The JPEG can't even fit in the frame. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.